Okay guys, I'm back and you can tell it's starting to snow. I think Charlie just finished, yes, he just finished the second um, garlic bread that he used pizza dough for from yesterday. I'm finishing up the chicken on the grill. And people have asked me before, what do you do? Because I make um, fajitas like that as well. So what I do is buy a huge pack of chicken breasts, buy the McCormick fajita seasoning, add some water and oil, right? Throw it in, either, you could do it in Ziploc bags. I do it in the food saver. Throw it in the food saver, uh, you know, the little plastic stuff that you can suck the air out of. Mix up uh, the seasoning and a little bit of oil, a little bit of water. Throw a breast or two into each one, however much you think you're gonna use. Seal it up, throw it in the freezer. So if I buy a big pack, I may make three or four different bags or packs, whatever I'm, I'm doing. I used to use freezer bags, so you could definitely use freezer bags. Throw it in your freezer, then you just take it out, let it thaw, and whenever it's thawed, throw it on your grill. It's already seasoned, you don't have to monkey with it. And so whenever you're doing other things, you know, like cooking sauces or whatever you're doing to jazz things up and make dinner a little bit more appealing, you're not wasting time marinating the meat and waiting for it. Okay, let's see what Charlie's got going. Oh, nice. That's considered a launch for the uni. Successful launch. And I think, is that just mozzarella and bacon and garlic? Parmesan cheese. Oh, okay, a little bit of Parmesan. So, so the recipe for the dough balls, you have enough to make five pizzas. So we made a couple yesterday and we were just trying different toppings. We bought a couple of different toppings, um, some frozen Italian sausage and some other things. And one thing we bought was this crumbly bacon from GFS. This stuff's the bomb. It is so good. So some of that is on this now. And the uni cooks so quickly that the risk is that it's going to cook it so quickly that you burn it. So, but the joy is with the stone, you get that nice crispy, a little bit uh, seasoned crust on your bread. So it's super tasty. My chicken's coming up nicely. It's a pretty good sized breast. I've got water boiling for my noodles. We've never made fresh pasta. I got a pasta cutter and um, press for the KitchenAid that I got for Christmas. So uh, we're trying it out, loving it so far. Enjoying this nice cold Michigan weather. <laughs> Are you having fun? Done. It's done? Done. Okay, so it's time to turn the uni off <laughs> and I'll take you back inside in just a second. I'm going to check the temperature on this breast, see where we are because I want to be at 170 and I guarantee it's not there yet. So what do you think of the snow, Charlie? Oh, I love it. Do you? Yeah, it's Truly? It makes my Peel wet. I know. Burn my hand. Okay. I was a little bit on the fence about the uni whenever I was asking for things for Christmas as to whether or not we would use it, but it looks like what do you think? Do you think we're gonna use it enough to justify paying what we paying what you paid for it? Yes. Okay, <laughs> that's good. All right. So let's see if my noodles are boiling yet or my water for my noodles. It's coming up. I've got my butter softening. I'm gonna make a really big batch of this because we have a ton of noodles and Calvin still lives at home and he absolutely loves Alfredo. So I know if I only make a typical batch, it's gonna be gone and he won't get any leftovers. So we don't want that to happen. So I've got the whipping cream out. I'm going to turn this off and get my chicken off and mince some garlic. <laughs> 